Mental problem 1243. This is one of the tougher ones. Um, and that's what I mean. Pre use these problems to prepare because sometimes you just run out of problems to practice. Actually, you shouldn't run out, but you know, a lot of times um, we want to know what the answer is, make sure we're doing it correctly. Not all of us can afford Chegg, right? So, um, you know, let's you want to be able to do these on your own. Determine the velocity of car A if point P on the cable has a speed of 4 meters per second when the motor M winds the cable in. So, you know, first I'm going to say this is my date, my coordinate system here. Always do it in the direction of motion. So, you know, it's rolling in the x direction and the y is going to be perpendicular to that. So now we have, and here's point P over here. Let's set our datum. So our datum is going to be here, okay? And then I'm going to start by, well, we have one rope, so that's one equation only, so good for us. And then let's begin taking the length of this string. So I'm going to call this LA, then You know, over here, I have another LA, but we have LP here, okay? So, the distance we're interested in is pretty much, how is this, how is this rope moving over here? The one that I'm kind of circling or, or highlighting. How is this rope moving, okay? So... Let's change some colors here. So we have LA over here. We have distance LA, but also we have distance LP, right? So then what is this distance, right? That's going to be LA minus LP. Okay. This one, L, this LA stays the same. So it's going to be plus L sub A. Right now we have these two middle strings, which you know the way I did it was all right. We have two of these, and we have two of these strings, right? Or two, two part chunks of this string, right? And they're almost the same distance as LA, but you have to subtract this constant distance, right? So this distance in between the these between these two pulleys is always going to be the same. So what I did was I called that. Um, you, you know, you can say like, okay, this is L prime. So let's this green this green part of the rope is going to be called L prime, which is going to be the whole distance L a right. You take the the whole distance L a and you subtract constant c. Okay, and this distance between the two pulleys is C. So then, when you when we plug it all in here, we should have LA minus LP plus LA plus two of those LA minus C equals the total length of the string. When we sum them up, when we sum them all up we're gonna get LA minus LP plus LA plus 2 LA minus 2 C equals L, right? Then we'll group your terms together and we have 4 LA minus LP minus 2 C equals L. It's a bit messy. So draw them out, draw, draw the figures out huge in your paper. And then when we take one time derivative, we're going to get 4VA minus VP. Um, that's constant, right? So derivative yields a zero. And then the rope is constant. The length of the rope is constant, so derivative will yield a zero. And then we have 4VA equals VP. And that tells us that... Um, Point P on the cable, the speed of so VP is the way I, I 
uh, arrange my coordinate system. I said x going to the right is positive, so point P is going to the right of 4 meters per second, so that is 4. And then it's 4VA. And then we finish off the problem with the velocity of the cart is 1 meters per second. Okay. And again, let's to you know that's that's the end of the problem. We have the velocity of the cart, which is one meter per second. If you want to stick around, I'm gonna delete this so you guys can see a little more clear our, our thought process once again. So we have two of these parts of the string in green, right? We had this part of the rope, okay? Then we had in red, we had this part, okay? And then we wanted to sum those, we wanted to sum all of those terms together. The blue plus the two greens plus the, the red, okay? The red was LA. Here in the blue, we said it was going to be LA minus, this was LP over here, that little short, tiny piece of rope. And over here, we said it was going to be LA minus LP. Okay. And then for the green, For the two greens, we said that's going to be distance LA minus this distance. And we said this distance is not going to change. This distance, we called it C. Okay, so the rope itself is going to be total length LA minus C minus that constant. And then we found out that, that constant doesn't change, so then you know it doesn't really affect anything. Okay? And that's how we piece this problem together. So you know go ahead, try it on your own. Um, and then I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching the video. Thanks for having the patience to to go through the video with me. Uh, don't forget to like and comment uh, if you have questions, uh, share the video with your friends if you need if they need help as well. Um, Thanks, guys. See you in the next video.